As a manager, he has taken West Brom up and out of this division twice, but he's also taken Nottingham Forest down out of this division once. He is, of course, Gary Megson. He's the new manager at Leicester City, and Andy Kerr has been to meet him. Back in football, Gary Megson took his new Leicester side to Charlton. Fittingly, it was FIFA Fair Play Day. In midweek, he oversaw one of the great sporting gestures. Leicester were playing a rearranged Carling Cup tie with Nottingham Forest. The original fixture had been abandoned when Clive Clark collapsed after heart failure. Forest had been leading, so Leicester allowed Forest keeper Paul Smith to score the first goal of the night and retake the lead. But it seems not everybody has been playing fair with Megson. I was ready to come back a lot, lot sooner than I did. Um, I've, you know, I found out that somebody who I, who I used to work for has been causing me a huge amount of problems, which is like, you know, stuck in my throat a little bit. But I'm delighted that I've, uh, that, that I am back. Um, even more delighted that I'm back at a, a football club like, uh, like this one that's, you know, got uh, the wherewithal to try and go forward. Who's been causing you problems? Yeah, well, I'd, I'd just, if I'd wanted to know uh, to, for you to know the name, I'd have said it. But like, it uh, doesn't matter. It's, it's it's a personal thing, and it's bang out of order. Leicester sit uncomfortably close to the foot of the Championship. Milan Mandaric wants his team in the Premiership. He's hugely ambitious, not particularly patient. Um, knows how he wants things done, and um, and says what he thinks. Um, I can't really complain about that because I'm exactly the same. I've got the experience because I've done it twice, so you know you'd, uh, <clears throat> that, that's there anyway. And the know-how, I know how we did it at West Brom, um, but it doesn't follow that that's just the only way to do things. And, uh, and when I look back to that, um, the, the squad certainly that went up the first time, it was just on um, sheer hard work. Chairman Milan has a reputation for being hard work himself. There have been four managers in five months at Leicester. Job security clearly wasn't a prerequisite for Megson. I think you'd have to be in my shoes to to realise, you know, there's um, there's been jobs I've been going for not not getting for reasons that I've spoken about. Um, so that's one of the things that you have to think about. But the the other one is it's not a difficult job for anybody to take. Hence, there has been four managers. There's been a lot of managers here in the uh, you know not just in the last year, but in the, for probably since Martin left. Um, but it's uh, it's a fantastic football club. If he had any illusions about the size of the task ahead of him, they were dispelled at the Valley. Nicky Weaver turned Stephen Clemens' shots onto the post inside five minutes. That was as good as it got. Poor defending from a throw-in gifted Charlton an opener. Chris Uwalumo was unmarked to score his third goal of the season. Megson had a win and a draw in his opening two games, but they were outfoxed by Alan Pardew's side. More bad defending for the second. It was boyhood Leicester fan Luke Varney who did the damage. His first goal since arriving from Crewe earned a thumbs up from the boss. 2-0 inside the first quarter, the game was effectively over. Manson's side were better after half-time without creating any clear-cut chances. It might not be in his nature, but Mandarich needs to have patience with his new manager. Is this team good enough to go back into the Premiership? I don't know. Um... You know, after 10 games, um, we'll, we'll see where we are, and I think that's always a good indication. The last three seasons have been relegation seasons, and uh, you know we've got to try and improve on that um, with, uh, with the squad that we've got currently and try and improve it as quickly as we possibly can. So, plenty to chew on for Megson. Charlton leap up to second.